Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, Kikiri Forest, Suicidal, and it is cold. Actually, how cold is it? Let's take a brief peek here. here we go. The mission is underway. It is apparently 7 degrees outside. 7 degrees Celsius. Which is like... What is that? Um, 46? Fahrenheit, I think. 7C in F. 44! Ah, I was close. I was close. The all-Americans out there that use the worst uh, temperature system. It's 44, 45 degrees out. My room has uh, poor insulation. And uh, the only heater I have in here is my computer. It's, uh, it's fairly chilly, honestly. It's honestly a little bit warmer in here than it was where I was just now. Um, I was just sitting out in the living room, even colder out there. Um, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> is the the moral of the story here? In the in the summer, I complain about the heat. In the winter, I complain about the cold. It's uh, it's, it's cold, dude. It's cold. Come on, man. It's cold. But you know what the best part about it being cold is? Is it, uh... I get to put my, my blanket, once I'm done recording, I get to put my blanket into the, uh... Well, it's probably time to wash it, honestly, so I get to wash it. But regardless, once it comes out of the dryer, it's nice and warm, and... There's, uh, there's a fair bit of a thermal mass in that, so I get to, to kind of absorb all that heat, and it just it's so warm and cozy and delightful. And, uh, it's great. Um, so that's, that's a wonderful thing about it being cold. We love that. I've been thinking, uh, I might start making a Terraria series. Big, big maybe, big maybe, but, uh, I've been thinking it might, might happen, because... Got a Discord message? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Nothing important. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking I might be able to make a Terraria series just because I do play it in such a different way than other people. I uh, might be able to make something and uh, have it be enjoyable or at least educational to a certain extent. Kind of capitalize on the uh, the lack of like technical Terraria YouTube channels, you know? I might be able to, to kind of build up... Uh, a name for myself on that front because there's a lot of things that I know that a lot of people don't a lot of things that I know that a lot of people don't a lot of things that I don't know that uh, some people do but I'd uh, definitely put myself in the uh, in the slightly more knowledge on Terraria I think that most my goodness why 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 so many husks eh? I think that most people who play Terraria they don't tend to uh, to look into how everything kind of works, and like they they might uh, they might look up how to build a coin farm or something like that and copy the build, but they won't understand the the mechanics that uh, that actually make it tick, you know. And I feel like maybe maybe I could kind of build off of that and make a series that kind of goes into how those farms work and. Rather than, you know, here's a design, build this, you know, here's why it works, you can build your own. You know, you, you, you want this, 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 and this, and and you can kind of do whatever you want outside of that, but, uh, you know, it, I, I, I feel like there's there's a, a niche for that, and I've been, I've been thinking about possibly, possibly getting into that lately. Not sure, not sure. It sounds like it could be fun, though. Kind of like, uh, kind of like a you know Terraria Let's Play, but with the uh... when 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 I look for Let's Plays on Terraria, what I find are people who are doing like a mage Let's Play, you know, and they and they do a, a mage run. So they make a character, they make a world. They only use mage weapons, they kill the Moon Lord, and they're like, Alright, cool, that was a good one, let's go do the same thing again, but this time with 
you know, ranged weapons. And then let's do the same thing, but with summoner weapons. Let's do the same thing but with melee weapons, with yo-yos, with books, with stabs, with... You know, and they keep on restricting it, and then just doing the same thing. But I don't see anybody who plays the game the same way that I do. Which is, I have like, 800 hours in my current Terraria world or something like that. Like... That's not really represented on YouTube. And uh, if I were to, to maybe start to, to do something in that, I, I might be able to have some fun with it, I'm not sure. The, the main issue that I, I kinda am concerned about with it is that I don't want... ...to feel bad if I do something without recording, you know what I mean? Because, like, with Minecraft, um... I, I want to make, like, a cobblestone generator on Serenity. Um, I want to make, you know, like, all of these things that would be really, really helpful. But I don't want to do that because, uh, like, that's that's a video, right? Like, that's I can, I can fit that in the video and make content and people can watch it and enjoy it. Um, so I, I kind of have to restrict what I'm able to do unless I'm, I'm actively recording or, or planning an episode or something, you know? And I don't want that to happen with Terraria. I don't want to ever be restricted um, because of YouTube. Because uh, Terraria, for me, is, is kind of my own personal hobby, you know? It's kind of what I do in my own time for, for me, rather than uh, for, for YouTube. Whereas Killing for Minecraft, um, you know, uh, Gunfire Reborn eventually. Like, these, these are things that I'm doing for YouTube that I enjoy, but I don't really... Like, it's not, it's not a personal hobby of mine, it's not something that I'm, like, interested in outside of, of the YouTube aspect of it so much, at least, you know. The main motivation is, is definitely the YouTube. And, uh, I don't want that to happen to Terraria as well. So I'm not, I'm not sure how I'd organize it, but I'd, I think I'd want to, um... Maybe make a second character? And then kind of, like, run through the game and, uh, like, design things and, and kind of go over that and, like, how I'm designing them and what kind of things are important and, like, tips and tricks and that kind of stuff for, for making your progression a little bit simpler, a little bit more straightforward kind of thing, you know? I'm not sure. It's a lot of time as well that would go into it, but I already get a lot of awesome stuff from having my current world, so I, I could just move that over... To, to make the process a little bit simpler, you know? I don't have to farm up a whole bunch of blocks and platinum and stuff for reforging. I don't have to, like, find accessories and fish a whole bunch and, you know, like, I don't have to do all that. I can just, like, grab it. You know what I mean? So it kind of saves me a lot of time. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it's kind of got me interested a little bit. I guess, because um, I, th I think it would be—I think it'd be a good way for me to—I uh, don't know—spread some Terraria knowledge. I know a lot of people have trouble with some just very, very basic mechanics in Terraria. Like uh, people get the Terra Spark boots or whatever, they want to reforge them to warding or menacing or whatever, and uh, you know it's like 30, 40 gold per reforge, and they're like struggling to get the gold for that and they're having a lot of trouble with all these things. I'm like, you know, it's a really simple solution, honestly. Um, it's just that a lot of people don't take the time to, to learn the game to be able to, uh, to actually, like, put these solutions into practice, you know, because they aren't something that you'd find on YouTube because they aren't, like, an end game solution. They're, they're very early game stuff. You wouldn't necessarily see people going over that. Um, because, like, it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to have your boots at warding for the Wall of Flesh fight, right? Yeah. But then uh, it, it might be you're know, going over the core mechanics and the and the ideas and the fundamentals, kind of like a Terraria 101 sort of thing, but uh, from like a technical perspective, might be might be my my niche. I'm not sure. I'm I'm I'm, I'm undecided. I might make uh, I might make one episode. And and see how I feel about it. I think I think that's the best way forward. Just just make an episode, you know. Maybe maybe it's it's like a ton of fun. 
Maybe I, I try it and I'm like, wow, this is just like terribly boring. I don't want to do this at all. And I uh, and I rethink my strategy, but I think I should just re you know try the the one at least. Still got to edit the Serenity SMP video that was supposed to go up yesterday, but didn't because of uh, stress and depression. Um, still have to get uh, episode two for the vanilla Minecraft series that's going to be going up um, Monday. So that's a couple of days away, and. Uh, well, that's really it, but, you know, there, there, there's stuff to do that, I, that I'd want to get done before I start working on a new Terraria series. I have to do, like, some RuneScape stuff as well. Um, we're coming up on the end of December here, and I do want to get the, uh, like, year-long membership for RuneScape, but I want to pay for it with bonds, and that's, like, 600 mil or something, which is probably about a good 30, 40 hours of, um, of, like, grinding out gold in RuneScape for... And I'd want to get, like, content for all of that, too. So it's, uh... A few things that I kind of want to work on, but... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of take things one thing... One, one step at a time, right? One step at a time. One step at a time. Christmas is coming up in, uh, in six days. It's the 19th today, Saturday. Christmas is six days away. You guys celebrate Christmas? You excited? Oh, I just splashed water onto my forehead. First batch of Zeds you guys excited for Christmas? Get ready. You guys celebrate Christmas? I don't know. I do. We've got uh, we've got plans to head over to my grandparents on Christmas Eve. So we'll do our, uh, our initial celebration then. I don't know if it's a... Uh, like my family thing or if it's a like European Portuguese thing um, but we always celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve and then um, we'd have just uh, you know my parents my sister and I on on Christmas Day wake up and, and open up the presents under the tree I think that it was um, my mother who always celebrated Christmas on the 24th and then my father who always celebrated on the 25th so we kind of like I guess came to a compromise where we celebrate with my uh, my mother's parents on the 24th, and then we celebrate as a uh, as a family together at home on the on the 25th. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a Portuguese thing or if it's just a the way that my family kind of does it, but 20 the the 24th has always kind of been the day of of, uh, of celebration for me. I mean, the 25th has always been a day I've kind of loathed, honestly. Um, I've never been fond of presents, you know. I I've been over my my rant on presents as a capitalist kind of scheme, <laughs> um, but uh, you know I've, I've never been too fond of it. So the twenty fifth, we were always getting wake woken up at like seven a.m. or something, you know, seven eight a.m. to to have to like get up and open up presents that I didn't care about really anyway. And uh, since we celebrated on the 24th as well, that meant that we'd be, like, staying up until pretty late. You know, we'd be going to bed typically around, like, 1 a.m. or something like that. And they'd be waking us up at, like, 7, 8 a.m. And I'm like, I just... I just want to sleep. <laughs> like, you can keep the presents, just let me sleep a little bit longer. And then you got, um... You know, you have to spend time with your family and do all this kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah, but we already spent time together yesterday. So the 25th has always been a day that I don't uh, I don't particularly look forward to. The 24th is one that I enjoy because I get to visit my grandparents and kind of have this big celebration with, you know, all the food and everything. And then the 25th, I've always kind of been like, yeah, it's, I could, I could do without it. <laughs> it just feels a little bit superfluous, I suppose. I used to get, uh, I used to get in trouble. Because I'd be like, yeah, I'm not getting up. <laughs> you know, they're like, it's Christmas tomorrow. We have to get up at like, you know, 8 a.m. Like, no, don't make me up. I'm not. I'm not getting up. And uh, my my mother in particular would be uh, upset with me because uh, she's like, no, we have to be up. We have to be celebrating Christmas. Get it. We have to open up the presents. And I'm like, I just don't care about the presents. I care about me sleeping. <laughs> that matters more to me. Um. These days, my uh, my grandparents are too old 
for us to, to be staying up late on the 24th anyway. So we ended up, you know, coming home like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in, uh, in the evening anyway, you know, with their bedtime. Um, so it's uh, it's a little bit easier to get up in the morning, but it's still... It's still just a day that, that, that just feels a little bit redundant, I suppose. But regardless, Christmas is coming up. I am excited for the 24th. Um, I don't do presents, but uh, being able to see everybody in the family and, you know, get together and celebrate and, and just have, you know, a good time and all that, that's of course uh, fun. My grandparents on that side still give presents. Typically, it's just a, an envelope with some money in it. Especially this year, I, I highly doubt they've gone out and done any shopping. They're hardly capable of that in the first place, let alone with COVID. Um, so it's uh, you know typically just a, an envelope with money, and, and you know as starkly as I am against, uh, as staunchly I suppose against uh, presents as I am, and I just don't think it's worth it arguing with them. You know, like it's. You gotta, you gotta draw the line somewhere, and uh, and for me, it's it's a. Uh, you know, with with other people, my parents, my sister, I'm not gonna let them. You know, I'm 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 gonna be, I don't know, not not, not selfish, I guess, but like, it, it's selfish for them to to want to give me a present. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it. So if they're giving it to me, it's it's for their own gratification and like feeling like they gave me something. But, uh, so, so I'm like, you know, I just, I don't have any sympathy. Um, I'm, I don't, you know, you, you, you should respect my wishes and, and not give me presents is, is the moral of the story here. If you don't want to respect that, then that's fine. I'm not accepting your presents because, like, it's, it's kind of a two-way street, right? With my grandparents, it's like, they're too old, you know? Like, they're not even going to be cognizant of the fact that I don't want presents. You know? Like, they, they don't even recognize, well, my uh, my grandmother anyway doesn't often recognize, like, the people in the pictures, even though the people in the pictures are, like, her. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just, I, I can tell them that I don't like presents. I'm probably still going to get presents, and then, like, you know, do I argue it? Do I decline it? It's just going to make, like, the whole thing is just going to be a, a much worse experience for everybody, and, like, I don't want to put them through that, you know? So I, uh, for them, I still I still accept presents. Just because it's, uh, it's not worth it to, you know, when, when you look at the whole picture, it's not worth it to really try to to cut that out as well. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just not... You know? So. I still accept them. I don't know if, uh, if we'll get any this year. So much, but. I, I mean, I always hope that we don't. You know, I always hope that this is the year that, uh, that they decide we're not doing presents anymore. Never is, but. I always hope it is. I'm hope I'm hoping that this year as well, but it, it, again, I'll, I'll probably end up getting a an envelope with some money in it at least or something. Much to my dismay, it's like I just I just I just rather people spend their money on themselves, and I'd rather me spend my money on myself. You know, Every, everybody ends up getting something they definitely want that way, and everybody has a better time. Nobody's hurting for you know nobody's finances are getting you know. Trashed because of uh, Christmas. It's kind of like the diamonds, you know, market, right? It's not, you know, people people say, uh, you know, you, you need a big diamond to, to propose to your lady or whatever, and it's like you don't really, you know, if if the, if the size of the diamond is the you know determining factor in whether or not she says yes, you don't want to marry her. Um, <laughs> so, it's like, it's just, uh, it's just a silly, silly thing. Just a silly thing. And then, and then, you know, Christmas is the same thing, I guess, right? Like, it's, it's all about the, the selling you more stuff. It's not really about the people. No, nobody, when, when you see all these Christmas advertisements and, you know, give the gift of love and, you know, whatever other kind of garbage you see on the internet and advertisements and stuff... It's, it's never about the person that's getting the gift. It's always 
100% about the price tag on the item. They don't, they don't care about you giving a gift somebody's gonna like. They don't, they don't care. They, none of that matters. They don't care about you. You know, like, Walmart does not care about you. They don't care about me. They, they care about their, uh, their bottom line, you know? As, as they should, I suppose. Hello? As they should. And, uh, the, the, the issue is that a lot of people think that, uh, I don't know, like, I, I, I feel like a lot of people just don't recognize that, like, money is, like, a thing, you know? Like, like I, I feel like there's this kind of, like, disconnect between people and, like, under, like, I don't know, like, like, if it feels like people don't recognize that these people who are, like, trying to sell them stuff want their money, you know? Like, a lot of people ignore that aspect of it and think that they're trying to, like, give them something good, but the reality is that you have to pay for it, and that money is, like, inconveniencing you, and is the thing that you're buying really worth that money? Usually not. You know? So anyway, I just don't like Christmas. But, uh, five days from now, we get to celebrate with my grandparents, and that's an exciting day. But, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe, see more of the future comedy, if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.